Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to use the RGB color charts in swatches for Photoshop. The first thing I'll show you on the screen is the two different color charts that we have. We have a 510 color chart with 20 grayscale boxes that will fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. For each one of these colors you'll notice that there is an X and a Y coordinate. Each one of these X and Y coordinates will also correlate to the swatches that we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to upload into your Photoshop. There is also a 2010 square boxes of color with the same exact X and Y coordinates but just covers a lot more information. Obviously this is a lot of work to create all these color swatches so what we've done instead is created a PDF document that will show you what the RGB values are for each individual color. This 200 or 2010 color chart will be printed out onto an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. Now what I'd like to do is show you how you can go ahead and upload the color swatches that correlate to the 510 value color chart. First thing you'll notice is when you open up the swatches window, if it doesn't show up on yours, you can always click on the window and go down to the swatches and it'll launch this window for you. The one that comes up here currently right now is just a standard defaulted one in Photoshop. We want to go ahead and load the one that comes in the zip file for the RGB colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my cursor over to the round arrow and I'm going to click on the button. It's now going to open up a window and I'm going to go to load swatches. It's now going to open up the standard color swatch folder within the Photoshop files. I need to find where I saved my other one. So I'm going to go into my different folders until I can find my individual one. And you'll notice you, the MR RGB Photoshop dot ACO is my color swatch. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice that my color swatches have changed dramatically. I have much more different looking color available. Plus there's also the 20 grayscale boxes. If I put my cursor over one of these, you'll notice that it shows up B14 T16. Again, that is the X coordinates, which would be the B14, and then the Y coordinates, T16, be that blue right there. That's how you can load the color swatches into your Photoshop. I recommend you printing out this color chart and pressing it to a shirt or to the metal for dye sublimation or whatever other process that you're using. And that way when your customer comes up, they can see exactly all the different colors you can hit if they want to be specific to hitting a specific color of red, blue, green, or any other color you can show them the different ones that you can have. It's also important when you go to print this that you keep track of the different settings that you use when you print. If you're printing for multi-rib, you should probably go through and choose which settings you want to use for your standard default in the rip and write those down either on the inside of the shirt or number it somehow so that way the next time you come through you'll know your different settings for example what you use for the RGB source profile the different media types and also the print quality. Once you have that you should be able to accurately reproduce the same exact color and make your customer happy. If you have more questions about this please visit www.multiripusers.com Thank you.